I've just died and gone to pork heaven. Hey guys, Ross here and Beck is right behind the camera. We're in Prague and, well, as Anthony Bourdain once said, pork is king here and, well, we've found a quality place that we can't wait to share with you. So we travel full time and we're obsessed with finding foodie spots wherever we go. If you're into that sort of stuff, be sure to subscribe and like. All right, let's go. We are super excited to share this place with you guys. It's called Hawks and it's really central and easy to get to. We'll leave all the details in the description below. But one hot tip, just make sure that you book. You can book really easily online. So we've worked our way right across Prague, trying to find really good quality foodie pork spots for you guys, and we nailed it. Porks is a step above. We've tried lots of different porky dishes, and this is the porkiest of them all. They do it just incredible. I can't wait for the food to come out. We've just ordered and we have way too much food. Now, Porks has a variety of stuff on the menu. Everything is pork, pretty much. And, well, we've just got the starters. We've got some pork cheeks in a gravy that it looks to die for. I'll wait till I pop the lid on this thing. And a sausage, a pork sausage that's been roasted, and it's got a little side of sauerkraut and pickled cabbage. Just really good, simple dishes done to Next level. Oh, let's tuck in. We have so much food to come, but this is the best bit. Just to start, you gotta start somewhere. All right. Pork cheeks in like a sort of a fat and then a gravy layer. And the bread that they give you is so soft. Mustard. Oh my gosh, Beck. <laughs> That's incredible. That gravy is rich as anything. The pork cheeks just kind of melt. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah. That's incredible. Mm. One interesting thing about this one, it's served cold. So it's in a cold gravy, but it doesn't matter. Packed full of flavor, really rich, and what a start to a meal. All right, and now for the sausage. For those that have watched other videos, you'll know that I love sausage. Anyway, now this is roasted pork. You have the biggest bite. <laughs> I have a big mouth. I have a lot to say. It's just simple flavors. There's some really nice seasoning in there. A little bit of sauerkraut. I'm gonna skip the bread because we have so much food coming out. Oh, a slight sort of salty edge to the sausage, which I like. I like a sausage that's bold and packs a punch. Great little start to a big meal. So we've tried a lot of Kaleno, the 
pork knee knuckle. Over the whole month, we've had so many of them, just trying to find a really good spot to share with you guys. Well, oh, and now, new Patreons, hello. And unbelievable, like this place just bats above some of the other spots. In the other spots around Prague, you'll get really big ones, probably one, one and a half kilos. It's a little bit smaller here, but every little bit on here, you would eat, like, other than the bone, just eat it all. I can't wait to tuck in. So one of the cool things about the Kaleno here is they have this really crispy crackling, and they were telling me the way they get it is they slow cook it, and then they whack it in the oven at a really high temperature, and it just crackles up so evenly. And, well, there's nothing worse than getting a little bit of uneven crackling, so this place does it the best. Mm. Oh my God, that's a party in my mouth. That rivals any mother's crackling. If you go to your mother's house, I doubt she can do it as good as this place. So once you get past the crackling, this meat is so soft. Like, can you see that, how soft that is? And it just melts in your mouth, but it is a bit salty, which I like. Some of the other Kalenos we've had can be a little washed out in flavor. This one's just really intense. It's such a treat. <laughs> Hold back. Wait till you taste this. Mm. To me, the flavor note is kind of like a Christmas ham. You know, like you can get the ones that taste like stewed pork. This really does just taste like a Christmas ham. Amazing. There is still so much crackling on here, Beck. I truly love that. I truly love that. All right, Beck. I want to hear this. I want to hear the crackling. Are you ready? Crackling test. test. You can't come to a pork restaurant and not order the ribs. Seriously, that would be a crime. The ribs here are so slowly cooked that when I cut them, you can see the meat just falling off. Wow. Marinated ribs. It's, it's quite sweet, you know? It's a really refreshing dish to eat after a salty one. No chewy stuff whatsoever. You literally just put your fork near that bone and it drops off. Enough with the politeness. You have to use your fingers and you need to get really intimate with the ribs. Here we go. Mm probably wearing it all over my face. That sweet marinade has just permeated all through the ribs. Look at that. It never ceases to amaze me how big my mouth really is. You know they're good when you want to lick the bone. But you really do, you just want to lick this thing down. That is unbelievable, that flavor. Beck was laughing her head off behind the camera, by the way. Anyway, I love this place. They've ruined pork for me because for the rest of my life, I'm always going to compare it to this place. All right, well, we are so full after eating so much food, but... The manager here said, you can't finish without having a beer ice cream with a caramel sauce, which just sounds pretty awesome to be honest, and some fruit dumplings with a cottage cheese. So let's taste them. Mm. Oh, that top bit up high is that caramel cream. Down low, if you dig for it, there is beer ice cream. Oh my gosh. You can taste the beer. Like, how cool is that? Caramel and beer. What a combo. I'm not 
even the dessert person, Becker's. That's amazing. All right, let's try these fruit dumplings with cottage cheese. Let's try and get an equal little sample of everything here. Mm. That tastes really sweet. A little bit of sugar going on, but on the inside, that's like apricot and some different fruits in there, really just packing a sour punch. Quite like it. Only problem is I'm so full. <laughs> I'm so full after what we've eaten. Luckily your dessert stomach is separate. Oh yeah, we have a dessert stomach, Beck's <laughs> saying, and uh, yeah, we're gonna access that one right now. We really should have started with that. That dumpling almost tastes like a thicker version of a pancake. Can't explain it, but it just does. You need to try this one. It's got a nice crumble in there too, so it's crunchy. Mmm, yeah. Um, I'm interested in what you think, Beck. See how Beck lights up when she gets a dessert in front of her? Mm. We hope you guys really enjoyed our little feast here at Porks. We have more Prague videos coming at you very soon. So we'll see you soon. All right, bye. Oh, Beck's coming. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon, guys. One thing is you can get the, the pickled cabbage, but there's also this other sort of pickled cabbage that's not really wet. Oh, that's not pickled cabbage, that's horseradish. I love that. Horseradish.